Okay guys, so today I'm going to start a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time and that is re-screening all the windows on the house. So I have my tape measure and I am going to measure um, to see how much I need and then um, we'll go to Home Depot and I'll come back and I will show you how to rescreen windows. So I'm going to use my phone as a note taker. So I have my measurements. We have a lot of windows throughout our house that we're going to rescreen. Um, so what I'm going to do is do some math and see what roll we should buy. Probably a bigger roll since we're doing the whole thing. And I think there's another couple things we want to build with that need screens. So. Let me do some math. I'll go to Home Depot and I'll come back and show you how to rescreen windows. Oh yeah, and we'll have to build some um, frames for windows too. So we'll do that too together. I'll see you and do that. All right guys, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, we're back um, to the windows. We went to Home Depot, we got a we got our 25 foot roll of screen and now I'm rescreening the windows. And let me put all my stuff down real quick. Okay. So I'm back by one of my windows. Here's the screen part. This is the window part. Um, and this is the old screen. And let's take a look at it. So this one is actually one of the better ones. There's, I don't think there's actually any holes in this one. I'm just redoing all of them because what I am going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to leave this, the frame in the window. I have tried multiple times on different windows to get them out simply and easily. It hasn't worked. If I've gotten them out, I haven't been able to get them back in. So um, I'll be building some more frames because I busted some stuff. Uh, anyways, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the old screen. I'm gonna start with my needle nose pliers and get the take the spline out. And I probably should go get a step stool. All right, there's the old spline. Let's see if we can get the screen out in one shot. Yeah, that's not gonna happen as easily. Ooh, look at all that dust coming off. Okay, so I got my screen off. Um, I am gonna go grab a step ladder and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my step ladder and I'm gonna move you guys to a different angles so you can see better. After re-screening a few windows, I figured out the best method was to measure and cut my piece of new window. And since I'm doing this alone, I use a staple gun to kind of attach it to right above the window so that I have, I don't, have to worry about it while I'm putting it on. Okay. 
So for this next step, you'll need some spline and the thingy to put the spline in. I don't know what it's called. Um, they actually had one in their tool stuff when we moved into this house, so I didn't have to buy one. So that was a plus. And I like to start from the top and work my way down because I like to let gravity help do the work. this way. So I'll just push it in. Okay, and once I get to the corner, I just make a 90 degree angle with it. Make sure I get this in. So that little part that just fell, we're gonna put, get that and put that back on. This little crossbar on all the windows has fallen out whenever I've done it this way, probably because you're supposed to take the windows out and do this, you know, horizontally, not vertically on the ground. But um, I'm not doing that option. So what I've been doing, using super glue <laughs> to glue it in. Now that might not be what the professionals tell you to do, but I am no professional. I am just trying to get things done. So I'm gonna find on here where I want it and put a dab and put it in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Might wait a second. You might be here for a second. Okay. I'm gonna let that set for a few sec a few minutes and just let it set up and dry a little bit before I continue putting everything up. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, so let's get back to work. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it right. One of my great uncles made a dehydrator and used frames just like these and window screening for the trays. So as those age, I got a lot of practice screening them. Hmm. This one's not going so well. So, sometimes things don't go according to plan. So you have to adjust your plan. So we're still gonna start at the top. But we're gonna go on the long side, start on the long side instead of the short side and see how that does. pulling it just a little bit more taut as I roll up. Okay, so after you've made sure all your corners are in tight and good, and you've cut your spline, um, take your knife. Um, you could use scissors. A knife is probably gonna be easier. Um, I recommend putting a new blade on it if it's even slightly dull it'll make your life a lot easier to have a super sharp knife and what we're going to do 
is we could start anywhere. I'm just gonna start right here. And we're gonna cut off, trim off the excess screen. And I try to keep the blade facing away from the actual window because if it tips the wrong way, you don't want to cut your, uh, your window you just screened. Okay. And check out our newly screened window. All done. Now let's move on to the next windows. Um, so I'm going to finish screening windows out here without you guys. Um, there is a couple windows I have to rebuild frames for or build a new frame for because our house didn't have one. So I will show you that before we end this video and I'm super excited that all our windows are getting screened. Okay, so the last window we have to do is in the garage and it doesn't have a frame. So I bought this frame kit from Home Depot comes with everything we need pretty much to make a frame. So let's go take our measurements and make this frame. Okay, so let's open this up. So here's the corner clips and the little springs and the pull tabs. And here are the bars. So there's four of them. And this particular kit can make a 40, up to a 48 by 48 inch screen. But we're making like a 23 by 46 inch screen. So let's go grab our tape measure and measure everything out. Okay, I'm gonna start with the short sides and mark it. Okay, I've got it marked now. I thought I had it marked, okay, I see it. Now we'll go ahead and use a hacksaw. Okay, so there's one. And we're gonna go ahead and do the second one from the same piece. So I'm just gonna measure. And we're just gonna cut like an inch and a half off, basically or an inch off. Okay, so now we have our two short ends done. They're the same length. Now let's do our long ends. Oh, crap. So, actually, we're gonna have to redo those. So I forgot that I need to take an inch and a half off for um, the corner pieces. So I actually need my short pieces to be 21 and a half. So let's fix that. Now we have our two short sides done. So let's do our long sides. So this one will need to be, this one will need to be 46.25 minus 1.5 equals 
44.75, so 44 and 3 quarters. Okay, so we have all of our pieces cut and now we're gonna take our corners and springs and put them in. So I'm gonna start with the long pieces. I'm gonna start with the long pieces. And when you're putting it together, you'll notice that there is like a ridge on the inside or on the side of one of the sides and it has spline in it. So that's the the part that you want towards the inside of your window frame. And you'll just do that with all the pieces. Okay, so I got it together, but I kind of forgot about the little spring things. So let's go ahead and put those in. So all you do is decide where you want them and then push them on and push your corner in. Now I'm just gonna do it on both sides on this one. Okay, so we have it all together. Before I put the screen in, I just wanna make sure that it fits. So we're gonna do that real quick. So we know that it fits, let's screen the frame. So this is a slightly different screen than I was using. Um, this is just like an all purpose. I was using a bug one. Home Depot didn't have it this time and I wasn't willing to wait because this is a garage window, it's my last one I need to do. So this is what it's gonna be. So we're gonna roll it out so there's a little bit extra. And this works a lot better if you're working on a place. We're gonna move over to the floor, guys. So this may not be nearly as comfy as doing it on a table, but it is a lot easier in my opinion. So there is spline in the, already in here, so we're just gonna take that out. And I'll just use some needle nose pliers to grab it. And it usually comes right out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all the sides. So this is our last window, like I said, but I wanna try to use this as efficiently as possible. So just like we did on the others, I'm gonna line this up, use our roller, and roll this in. So as I'm going down, I'm pulling it a little bit taut so we get a good um, tight screen on here. Okay, we're also gonna trim the spline at the corners. 
and I'm going to cut off the excess here. So we have our window screen done and it's ready to go in. Let's go. Change of plans. It is raining outside. You guys aren't coming. Okay, I'm back. The window screen is in and we are done rescreening all the windows in our house. Um, so while we're here, this is the, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. Um, this is the original screen that I used. Um, on all the other windows. And this is the screen I used today. So this and this. This one that I used on the rest of the house is like so much heavier, it's crazy. Um, and I definitely recommend a bug screen, um, if you're going to rescreen your windows, don't get the all-purpose. Um, I'll probably end up rescreening that window again um, at some point in the future sooner than I would like. Okay, so that is how I rescreened all the windows in our house. Some of mine did on the ground, some of I did, and um, I didn't take them out because I couldn't get them out. Um, if you have any questions about what I used or what I did, um, leave them in the comments for me below. If you like this video, please give, a th give it a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more of what we do around our homestead. And until next time, guys, bye.